Ooh, stuff, stuff. Somebody sent something to Tuckner twice. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, ooh. look at what they sent me to review. Look at this. Ooh, E, ooh. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Oh, wow. Come on, baby. Go easy on me, please. Hello ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host Loka Nerd and welcome to another exciting episode of Bust It Open. Busting It Open since 2007. And today we will be reviewing Acid Rain action figures. Acid Rain, The Last Line of Defense, Stealth Talos, exclusive version HR15E by Thal and Toy Alliance. And, and it's 2179 Detective Smith within the Acid Rain universe. Um, both of these, again, I told you I was going to come with the second video, and not, as, I, as always, my videos are not scripted. I go along as I see them, so everything is new. Everything that I see, you see, or is the first time seeing it. Sometimes I will take the action figure out of the package to make sure it's just there and it's whole or whatever. But, um, yeah, we're going to review these, and these were lent to me by my wonderful co-host and friend, Count Kenny. And, um... So far, I have to say, these action figures are in the three and a quarter inch line, but they are absolutely amazing. You have, um, we're gonna look at the box real quick. We got the Acid Line of Defense right here. It says Acid Rain, Last Line of Defense, Del Talos, HR-15E, which is the model, I guess. Um, and it's a robot, it looks like, right here. Exclusive version, right here. You see it says it has the FAU uh, figure and vehicle. Right here, FAB rather, and it's by Toys Alliance. Let me bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see. By right, Toys Alliance and Shronek.com. You got the Bard, you got the Stealth over here, Stealth Talos, HR15E, and then like the nice little acid rain symbol. It's, this is by um, Toys Alliance, uh, exclusive version. You got the figure right here with, the, with its accessories on the back right there. And you know, you, it tells you right here in its full scale. You can pause the video and read it yourself if you wish. And it's a warning hazard. This is not a toy for 16 years plus. Amazing. Really. Acid Rain over here. Stealth Talus, HR15E. Nice box. Beautiful artwork on the box. Now, again, if you want to check out more within this uh, universe, check out, uh, go to Acid Rain, AcidRainWorld.com, and you can definitely see, like, a lot of stuff that's going on and understand the lore of the world and, you know, the setting that is set. It's pretty much set in, like, a dystopian type of world nuclear fallout they're fighting wars constantly kind of like a blade runner s type of deal with androids and giant mechs that they ride with inside and you have this beautiful box over here done in a nice retro 80s color look right looking color right here it says annex 2179 detective smith fav fav h03 over here it says Toys Alliance, and you can see this over here, FAV, figure and vehicle, figure and vehicle. I, for a minute there, I thought it was FAU. And it says Annex over here, Detective Smith, Toys Alliance. Same as the um, other over here, but you have, look on the back right here. It says that you, um, it shows the, the, the action figure and the accessories as well. And this is a Glios figure, so that means that it is pretty much like interchangeable. Like you can pull parts off. If you know any, don't know anything about Glios toys, um, 
Glyos toys, I pretty much grew up with them as a child, like the Micronauts and stuff were Glyos toys where you can literally take them apart and interchange them with other figures. And it says Toy Pizza, Shronik.com, Toys Alliance. You got the choking hazard right here, 16 plus. Uh, over here it says TAU, Annex 2179, Detective Smith, Annex 2179 over here. This is a good looking box. Nice solid box is what you get with most, um, I would say like foreign action figures or Asian action figures. They give you a solid box. They'll give you a box instead of a window box. So um, we're going to get into these figures. Want to check out the package? Well, we already checked out the package. We're going to bust it open and see if these guys are worth the scratch. All right. So here we go. <clears throat> Nothing inside the box. Empty box. Put that over there. And you know it comes in a nice hard case as the other um, Acid Rain figures did. Made of a solid hard plastic right here. And it has clips right here so you can just lift these. I and mean, the clips slip up real very, very easily. You can open the case up and you have the, like, the nice styro or the nice foam inside. And make sure the figure stays nice and soft and it doesn't clunk around, get scratches, whatever. Comes inside of plastic right here. And again, this figure was donated to Tough Nerd Toys as a loaner so that I could review these figures for you. And inside we have one figure right here and it comes with one, two, three accessories. As you know, I always like to go over the accessories first before I go over the action figure. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this guy back here. And as you can see, this is a robot within the Acid Rain line right here. And I guess this is like a century robot that they sent out there to do the murder so I can get this murder game on. So right here in the accessories, we have like a hood right here that you can um, put on side, put on top of the robot's head. I guess you can stick it through here. Yeah, and have like a hooded thing going on. You can stick it through here and have like a hooded thing going on. We'll do that later. And he has a nice combat knife, as you can see. Has some wash on it. Looks like some rust and stains of blood on it or like old blood on it, which is good. Nice grips in the handle. Serrated top right here at the top. And actually, this plastic knife is made out of a hard plastic. You can kind of like be, you know, poke somebody with It's very sharp. And then you have this beautiful head sculpt right here of a robot's head right here. And you can plug, as you can see, it has a plug, a peg hole right here. So you can plug it right on in. Nice sculpting. Very nice sculpting on it. Nice etching. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you guys can see. Uh, nice etching. Nice sculpting. Look at that. That is beautiful. And if you look real good, it goes along with the same aesthetic that go. Well, it's a beautiful aesthetic, but it has like the it goes within the world of acid rain where everything is rusty and you know, worn and looked like that. It goes again, it goes to solidify what I said before that wash and paint apps is what make a figure beautiful. You can go from having a regular figure to a, a an ex, how can I see an elaborate masterpiece of a figure just by giving it the correct paint apps right here. And I like this head right here, it's simplistic, but it looks great. And I showed you the knife, I showed you the hood. So we're gonna get into the figure right now. And the figure over here is actually very, very nice. And it looks like, yeah, you can get a lot of Glyo stuff going on with this. I want to be careful. I don't want to lose any parts or anything like that because he was very nice enough to let me borrow this figure and use it and I'll review it. I love reviewing action figures. So we got the nice uh, 15 Stealth logo with some nice wash going on in the center right here. Elongated arms for a robot. You got the utility belt that slides up and down. I love the way they did these arms. It fits in, you know, fits in tandem with the robotic look nice wear and da battle damage on the back as you can see nice scarf great head sculpt right there these paint apps i mean like the wash that they put on here is absolutely amazing especially for a small figure love the legs and everything like that they like they, they come down to a nice little tapered look down at the ankle can these come off no i don't think no i don't think these shoes can come off anything like that but yeah Loving the wrinkles in here, nice knees, they hide the joints real good. But it's a robot, so I don't mind joint showing. Actually, I don't mind joint showing on my action figures anyway. Is this movable? 
No, I don't think that's movable or anything like that, but this figure is absolutely amazing. And yes, you can change the heads. So we're gonna try to get this going right here. Put that in there. I, you know, I'm gonna take the scarf off, and what the scarf is done is is done pretty well too, as you can see. A little bit of wash on it too. Look, if you look towards the back. So I guess we can put this head on first. Right here. I don't want to break anything. There we go. And you can slide the hood right over it, I guess. Oh man, this looks awesome. So now you got like a hooded robot. Protect this gear from the acid rain that comes down. Now the weapons it came with, I didn't see a gun or anything inside of there, which is weird. You know, maybe it didn't come with a gun, but on the front of the box it showed a gun, but you know, I guess that's it. Nice um, clawed hands right there. Got the nice little clawed mittens going on. But you got some great articulation with this guy. You can go all the way around. Now, without the headpiece right here, you can go all the way around. It looks up pretty good. Well, of course, you can look it up, but you know, be a little bit careful with pivoting this head up. So I'll put the other one back on right here so you guys can get a better idea. Okay, and look, this looks. Wait, there's a man inside of there. Look at that. So I guess you can pretend it's a cyborg, and you can also pretend that it's a robot, and a robot with a mask. Or, no, you can't put, I wish you could do, can, wait, let's see if there's a man's head inside of here. No, no man's head inside of here. But isn't that, look at that. Good thing I, st I was still fiddling with him and stuff like that. This is pretty good, this is cool. And the parts snap on very easily. They stay secure as well. This is a very nice figure. I love the toes and the feet on here. Nice wash, nice battle damage look, and you can see the acid rain. Um, the acid, look, like the acid wash look on there, like it's been splattered with acid and stuff like that, because that's part of the world within the acid rain world. Put the scarf on here, had a scarf like this. Tuck his head on, hold on. go look they, they, they these are pretty good now they, this one is not loose but it feels a little little a little it's hard to explain it's hard to explain but yeah as far as it's not as tight as the other acid rain figures that i reviewed previously that he lent me but yeah let's go into the articulation we go all the way around be a little bit careful you got to push this down i'm being careful but you got some nice Nice range of motion in the arms right there. Look at that. You can do all sorts of twisting and turning. You got a bicep swivel, double hinged elbow. Get some nice, look at that. Better than 90 degree. You get some swivel in the wrist and stuff like that. Pivoting, nice leg splits on the arm um, ball joint. Double hinge knee right there. Twist and pivoting in the ankle. Everything's good and a twist in the waist. And you got a bit of an ab crunch too. So this figure is fully deck right here you got some nice decos along the chest and on the arm right here i'm loving the way that the line work that they did on the robot looks absolutely great this is a beautiful and i mean absolutely beautiful figure great utility pockets on the back and everything along the belt the belt is made out of a vinyl that you can peg right here in the back there's a hole right there that you can peg it into so yeah this is a pretty good figure pretty good figure man loving it loving it knee pads look good everything pretty much looks good and again these are not six inch these are three and a quarter so they are in scale with classic gi joes and the four inch joes and stuff like that or they like four inches i would say four inches about but they all like they kind of differ in scale they kind of differ in scale but this one is nice and he holds the accessories pretty good surprised he didn't come with a gun and i think i looked through everything i gotta check again Give me one second when he put, there we go, got the knife in his hand. Murder robot or murder cyborg. Nice, nice. Hmm. So, 
you know, I'm we're going to go to the next figure. But in the meantime, I'm going to look and see if I've left any weapons inside the package. So give me a hey second. Guys. OK, now he did come with two knives, as, as you can see right here. But yeah, the midsection, the chest plate and everything looks great. And then remember, you can always have like a different look for him if you want to put these two to put these two pieces on here. All right. So next up, we are going to check out this guy over here. Let me slowly move him over. And it says Annex 2179 Detective Smith. Beautiful box, as you've seen this before. But this one, unlike the other one, opens at the top. Pull the figure out. Boom. And he seems to come with some nice accessories right there. Got a nice cowboy hat and a blonde head. And looks like a rifle and some other stuff. So we're going to get to that. We got the figure right here looking great. Oh, man, this dude got a cybernetic afro or afro. This is cool. Liking this. I don't know if he put this custom head on it or it came like that. So, yeah, let's put this guy over here for a second. And, yeah, you know, in a way, you can actually tell the difference between this figure compared to the rest of the, um, the um, Acid Rain figures. This one has more of a... It really does have more of a Glyos look. And if you know anything about Glyos, you you like with the modern day Glyos action figures, they got like this roundish, kind of like uh, cartoonish caricature look to it a bit. And this is the one the way this one looks. But over here, we have some accessories. Let's pull this back a little bit. Put this box over there. Wow, and he came with a lot of accessories, so you could really get some stuff going with this guy right here. He comes with like a bayonet shotgun, and he looks a bit like this figure is very modular. This is a modular figure right here, and as I told you before, it looks like you can store the figure, the um, rifle back here. Nice wash on this gun, nice darkening, as you can see, great detail on this gun. I mean, the blade is a little bit, you know, simple black right here. But I mean, like, you know, it's using pretty much like a three color pattern scheme right here. So it looks really, really, really good. Can you pop this shotgun? No. I thought maybe you could get a little. Then you have another face right here, which looks real good. Nice sculpting. Great paint at. Has some darkening hues in the hair, as you can see. Great sculpting. Great sculpting on this head right here. This looks great with the peg hole on the bottom. Got some sculpting along the back. Now you can see like they took a little shortcut and just made the hair blonde, blonde gray along with the um, the bottom part or the bottom half of the mask right here, which is no biggie though. It's no deal breaker. But I'm loving this scarf right here. This scarf looks great. Nice wrinkles in it. Made out of a, like a vinyl. Yeah, it's made out of a hard vinyl right here. This looks great. This looks absolutely great right here. Has two pistols right here. Boom. Boom, boom. And they're different types of, wait, are they? One looks like, yes, one can cock down, look. So you can chamber your weapon, you know, put some, put some bullets in there. And they have a nice wash to them, if you can see. These look great. This scarf is beautiful absolutely beautiful and most of all i am loving this hat right here look at this nice worn cowboy looking hat a little broken brim as you can see right there got some nice darkening and wash going on there give it a nice nice uh worn look to it looks like there's a little bit of a deco here like a little lightning bolt or in kind of like right there so it's pretty good now onto the figure right here now this looks great this looks great but as time goes on, you will start seeing the difference between modular, pretty much like modular, which are Glyos figures, and figures such as this one, and, um, and the Acid Rain figures. The Acid Rain figures have more of a more, how can I say, more adult look, or more mature look, where like these kind of like have like a bit of a, like I said, caricaturized look about them, or, you know, but they're, you know, they're great. So evidently, you can take a lot of these pieces off and interchange them with other pieces or other figures within the line. And evidently, it looks evidently you can switch up the parts and pieces. So.
such as pulling off legs and stuff like that, which I'm not going to do because this one's not my figure. But I will get one of these and one day do a swap for you guys to show you how you can do it. But the detail on this guy's uniform is great. Chest plate is great. I am loving this sheriff's badge right here. The, the body armor looks great. Now, this, it look, this, the afro looks like it's a gray cybernetic afro. I, and again, I don't know if this head came with it because it may. I think my friend had a head 3D printed and put on here. So it looks great. I'm liking it. It's a little, no, that's his little, um, his little, um, beard patch right there. Nice wash on the figure right here. If you look along the neck, there's some detail and sculpting in there. Nice sculpting, nice line work. Got the, uh, bullets going on along the belt. A nice buckle. Nice wash within the buckle. Got the canteen on it. Looks like a canteen. Is it? Yes, canteen on the side. Got the nice pig hole in the back. He is looking very, very good. I'm loving this figure, man. Loving the boots on him. Loving the shin guard, the knee pads. Nice, um, nice tactical gloves right there, but it looks like a cybernetic hand in a way. But I'm loving these um, bicep guards right here and everything like that. And the shoulder pads reminds me of like something from like the um, early 80s and 90s um, power armor that they would put on a lot of anime characters. Got the peg hole in the back so that you can plug this into his back right there. Let's see. You can also oh, make sure it sticks in there correctly. Oh yeah, and it's a nice secure fit too. Nice secure fit. Now, we're, as you can see, I want to see him with the blonde head. Wait, hold on, can I take this off? I don't want to break anything. This seems to be on here really tight, but you can swap the heads. I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the hat. So hold on one second. Let me just make, try to take the head off. I don't want to mess up. One second. Okay, and I'm back. And yes, you are able to take the head off. I was just being careful because it came, it seemed like it was offering a little resistance right there. And you can see the face sculpt on this guy right here. It's pretty good. Not that much shading or whatever the case may be, but it's pretty good. You can take this right here, pop this on there. Boom. Look at that, and it gives it a nice snap. Take that scarf. Take that scarf. Come on, man. Take that scarf, pop it on there. Take that hat. Oh man, this guy's looking great. Take that hat. You know I had to have the scarf blowing in the wind. Take them guns. Hold on, let me put these guns in his hand and I'll be right back. And there you have them fully loaded. And yes, the guns can go inside the holsters right here. It wasn't that hard to put his guns in there. You don't feel like you're going to break anything with these figures either. Shotgun, I'll show you in a picture how he looks with the shotgun in his hand and everything. But this guy is really, really nice. I'm liking him more. Uh, you know what? If I was able to put him with the hat with the afro head, I would have loved it. But I like this even better right here. This is serious. This is like a steampunk type of, uh, you know, steampunk type of... Uh, cowboy thing going on right there and everything like that or cyberpunk type of cowboy right there look at that that looks great that looks great and the articulation is the same as it was on this figure you can get some rotation you can get a lot of rotation on on the head right there you know but you got to be careful with all this stuff that's stuck onto him and everything again remember he's modular so a lot of pieces you can pull off like you're with, with modular figures you can literally pull them apart and mix and match the pieces with other figures but you got some nice arm rotation right here swivel at the bicep swivel double hinged elbow is this no it's a peg elbow and you have a nice little drop of the wrist like a nice cowboy would have uh swivel at the waist nice ooh, nice ab crunch right there look at that sculpting in the shirt right there too under the um body armor the chest armor look up with the head pretty good everything like that again this is going to offer a little bit of resistance but once you take it off you can get this figure has full mobility you got a double hinge knee going on right there nice pivot twisting and pivoting in the ankle right there is it any calf twisting no calf twisting but you got a thigh twist right there as you can see and it's all a ball joint in the um crotch area but you this figure is very 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 flexible very movable you don't feel like you're going to break anything if you play with it and yes they fit in skill with your um gi joe so on and so forth so yeah this figure is absolutely amazing so what i'm going to do 
I think I um, went over everything with this guy because I again I like to go into detail I even like the little if you look right in here you'll see like there's some gray under armor along top of this uh, under this armor that they sculpted in real good I love the straps and buckles that they put on here everything looks great especially the leg harnesses or the leg holsters and everything knee pads all can't go wrong with knee pads and you look on the back you see some beautiful spurs back there boy got some nice spurs back there loving that canteen though shotgun is great and i'm going to show you what that looks like in the pics so hold on guys and i will be right back with some pics all right and my final thought thoughts so as a whole i think these guys are absolutely amazing now understand these guys are a bit pricey because you know they got they're, they're like a niche market or esoteric like type of uh collector 
well is into these this brand but you know the motif that goes on with the whole um acid rain is like rust worn weathered beaten look or whatever the case may be with the cybernetic cyberpunk um soldiers that are fighting for resources revenge so on and so forth so i mean like you will absolutely if you're into three and a quarter inch joes you'll definitely love these or four inch joes you'll definitely love these and again you know i always use the 25th anniversary figures as a comparison to these figures right here and yes they fit right in scale also you can use gi joe vehicles and you can use the joy toy vehicles and put them in as you can see right here this fits they fit right in scale with this right here so you can get some nice stuff going on, man. I mean, like these figures are absolutely amazing and they're coming in, as you can see, as with, with most, these are coming in at about four inches, as you can see right here, coming in about four inches, as you can see right there. Great figures, great accessories that come with them, a bit pricey. You know, if you see them, grab them when they first come out, definitely check them out. You know, give them a, give them a pick up one. Sometimes you can find or get a used one like on eBay. There are some people that are selling them for um, a reasonable price, the open box or whatever the case may be. And you can like literally and I mean literally grab them up, you know, for like um, a reasonable price. I'm not saying they're going to be cheap, but cheaper than they are brand new. And with these figures, you have to get them with with most toys now. It's not like before. And I keep trying to tell people it's not like before where as though you can wait on a figure and then later on it'll become cheap. No. They're not making toys like they used to, making an open of overabundance of them. After they make a certain amount, that's it, and the price goes up. But yeah, I like this head right here. I think he had this printed. I don't know if it came in the box because I didn't see it on the back of the um, on the back of the uh, container. Uh, I mean, on the back of the package over there. So, you know, maybe he had this one printed. I'll have to ask him. But it's cool. I'm loving it. Looks like he's like a and black android guy with that cybernetic afro. I don't know. I don't know. But it looks great. It looks great. It looks absolutely amazing. They come there a bit, you know, some come with more accessories than other, but I'm noticing that you're not getting any more accessories more than maybe like three, four, or five accessories with each figure or something like that. And as I told you before, this one had two knives in here. I was expecting a gun. It wasn't a gun in here. I don't know. Hopefully he put a gun, didn't put a gun in there and I lost it or I didn't. But when I pulled it out of the package, I missed it. But I pretty much made sure that nothing, you know. But yeah, man. This one, now now the thing that got me is that this one came in a hard case. This one just came, as you guys saw, just came in regular plastic, and, you know, a little plastic clamshell. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. So with that being said, that's bling, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to comment, like, like, and subscribe, and share this video. Also, if you buy a toy, what you do? You bust it open. We don't need you around here, boy.